finally out of the plains of Whiterun, and we have made our way over to the snowy landscapes of Windhelm. I think I have already aggroed some of these bandits over here. I figured I would go ahead and at least show this one location. Look at all these bandits. Good lord, fornication. What have you done? Uh, I guess I'll do a character update after this battle. No one crosses me. That it? That your best? Just a scratch. Well, time to run. Let's try to not turn this episode into another uh, bitch fest, but uh, I really don't want this taken up the majority of the episode. I'm hoping to move on from bandits, at least for what's being shown on screen. Oh shit, you know what I just realized? You won't even live to regret this! Did not take my food buffs. I'll bury you! You're gonna pay! Yeah. Fool, I'll have your blood. Okay, cool. The uh skeleton says. So. <laughs> If I can just take out a couple of these guys. Just pure chaos. What happened to my magicka? Ah, oh, Leuven went down to the skeleton. Just die. Damn, this guy came out of nowhere. Just die already, bastard! True Nords never back down. I cannot best you. It's really weird. The the stamina costs don't seem to be consistent. But you're lousy with gold. Good. What did he just grab? Did he just pick up a crossbow or something? Okay, I didn't want you to be fighting them. I didn't summon you to fight a horker. Oh my god. What are the horkers and bandits working together? Oh yeah, I forgot to remember that that costs stamina to summon these guys. So I wanted to take on this uh, bandit location, and then uh, I was gonna go fight uh, the dude in here, Ingal. And then after that, Whatever bandits I do after this, I'm just not going to show. Figured this one was worth showing just because of the the scale of everything. Just a lot of enemies. Didn't necessarily prove to be extra difficult, just 
I have to play a little bit slower. Uh, I thought there was still some archers over here. I did. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going to do the character update in a minute. Uh, we got some levels. Um, we perked into alchemy, so we're able to craft some potions now. I've made some poisons, as you can see. I made 12 etioliding, or however you pronounce that, poisons. So hopefully that should help in our fight against uh, Gengal. Alright, I'm just gonna... Oh, no, there are still more people in here. I hate when the hands right, don't want to work. You're gonna die for that! No more! I yield! Ah! Is that an enchanted elven dagger? Was elven dagger of shocks. Another treasure map. <laughs> just treasure maps galore. Just a common soul gem. Some more mammoth stakes. Oh yeah, so do a quick character update. Uh, we are sitting at 47 conjuration. Um, I would like to get to level 10 before fighting Ingol, which means I might go do some more bandits uh, before going to fight him, because I want to get... Uh, the Mystic Binding perk, so that our bound weapon can be silver. But we shall see. Let's go ahead and grab this chest up here. I'll show you guys where the key is. Um, actually, I got to remember where is the key. Yeah, it is right here. Okay, that's what I thought. Remember, it was like behind a bucket. One of the viewers on my live stream told me about that. Um, more Fortify two-handed potions. Oh, we're in combat, so... No level up. Okay. Off to get the 50 Conjuration and hopefully level up soon. Alright, it's time for Ingol. First up is the dogs. Let's see if the bear can't get anything done yet first. Okay, we do good damage against these guys, but it uses a lot of stamina. I'd actually appreciate if the bear would quit tossing them in there. Now, I really wanted to get this silver perk. But I don't know if I'm going to be using this against Ingol or not. Oh boy. Guess we're going to find out, right? Go ahead and put this on favorite. Put it on... Oh, jeez, I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll just click it, right? Wow, he still got me with this slow effect. Oh, it's kind of hard to see him. Yeah, I guess this is good enough for our... This is good enough damage. And our stamina is not too bad for this because we're taking it slow. Oh, 
Yeah, if we're fighting uh, one Draugr at a time, we can do it. But uh, our stamina is, is an issue right now. We need to we need to work on this stamina, even as an Imperial. He wants to shout. I think one more hit should put him down. Yep. And then bonk. And we filled a grand soul gem, which is really nice because I actually went ahead and bought an effigy. So now it is time for effigy. Let's see, where's the key? Uh. First things first, we've got an upgrade. Looking spiffy. There's supposed to be a key right here. <laughs> no, I'm not using my master key. The key is supposed to be right here. What the heck? All right. Well, obviously the key is a. Well. Oh, there it is. Nice. No console need. Uh, major stamina? I mean, that kind of helps with our stamina thing, right? The only problem is we kind of need our conjuration ring as well. Uh, we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do. Alright, we'll figure it out. Alright, like I said, we're going to try to stay away from bandit content now, or at least what we're going to be showing off. Oh, God. This doesn't look like it's going to be easy. How much charge do I have on this? I can I can take out the troll. Ooh, some armor upgrades actually. Grab that in a second. Let's see what this guy had. We're going to get Nordic carved armor and the boots. Actually, I think it was slightly worse armor rating, but it is magic resistance, which I think I'd rather have at this point. Uh, I do have some magic resist potions that I can pop in here, but it's only 20%, so we're only going to get up to 30. Not enough to resist shouts, so hopefully, uh, <laughs> hopefully things just go well for us. We'll have to we'll have to find out. I did pick up Bound Greatsword. Thinking that might help us a little bit here. Okay, so Fortify Health is about to wear off. Tonic and the mistake still good. Depending on how well this goes, I might be willing to try Iron Bind Barrow, but Iron Bind I feel like is a bit harder. <laughs> Wait, they already take care of my bear? No, oh, he's just stuck in the fucking ceiling. Of course. Holy shit. So, oh god. Oh, we took that hit like a champ. He's body blocking, of course. <sighs> Gotta love it, right?
Ow. I just wanted to get him down so that he's not going to hit me with another shout. We got potions galore? I hope so, because we're going to fucking need them in here, apparently. That's why you go heavy armor, guys. You live to tell another tale. As long as you remember to wear your armor... Here we go with the coins again. Supposedly they got buffed to be worth more, but the cheap ones are still not worth it. was another person. Also, I thought there was supposed to be a skill book here. It was like a block skill book, maybe? I hear someone laughing. What's about to wear off? Fortify health. I'm taking the big one. Yeah, there's no sense in power attacking. It's just way too much stamina right now. Getting some nice insights, though. I like the model for the Ancient Ord Battle Axe. I think the vanilla model is nice, too, but... These ones are pretty cool as well. We do have another grand soul gem to fill, which uh, Coral Mill will do that for us. Ooh. Damn. I am overestimating my range and underestimating theirs. Okay. That was just invisible. Man, I am burning through my healing potions. It's like, yeah, I can craft more, but I'm not making good ones quite yet. That trap, I remember. There we go. Please, please give me healing potions. Uh, we are about to get to level 11. Actually, I hope we can cast Bound Armor. Oh, yeah, I made my effigy. I went with the Conjuration effigy so that we could wear the Ring of Major Stamina. Okay, we are leveling heavy armor. That is going to level us up. So I'm going to grab... Probably start putting more points into health. Our stamina still just feels so bad, though. I don't know. We're at 140 base stamina. We should, like, realistically be fine on stamina. Uh, I do want to grab Adept Conjuration. Because we're going to grab Invoke. I, I would like to grab Reichling, but Reichling is actually very costly. So we're going to go with Saber Cat and bound armor and we're just gonna go ahead and read both of those bound armor costs 152 and saber cat costs 147 so we can't quite cast those yet 
I was hoping we'd be able to cast bound armor in here, but that doesn't look like it's going to be the case. Okay, I don't know how that missed, but whatever. I wish we could cast spells while using two-handed bound weapons. It would make uh, going two-handed bound weapon a lot better. I need to save these for... Dude, what the fuck? Didn't expect to get caught right there. Alright, luckily taking less damage while sprinting really came in clutch there. And okay, he just had insane turn radius, I guess. We are just taking like way too much damage, honestly. I'm just burning through my my resources too much. How long do we have on that tonic? Only four minutes left. We'll definitely run out before we get to Corral Mill, or at least it would run out in the middle of the fight, but it'll probably run out before we get to him. Ah, <sighs> just a bit annoying. Yeah, my, my plan was to use the bear summon against Corral Mill if I can get him to be one on one fight. And then uh, use my poisons that I have made. Probably gonna have to use a lot of stamina potions, honestly. They have a club? It's the mace. It's like the remodel for it or whatever it makes it super tiny. I carry weight at. Alright, we're good. Oof. That was a close one actually. Definitely don't want to get hit by these guys. Or at least if you do, you better block it. Oh, that was a little too close for comfort. They do poison their weapon. One of these fuckers. I gotta kill this thing first. 
heard about these bitches. Alright, we do like no damage to Crawl Mill. But when we have the poison running on I don't think we I don't think I brought enough poisons. I should have made more. I need to get the uh the other guy here. I feel like he's getting ready to shout again. I do not want to be in this fucking hallway when he shouts. Oh yeah, we just, there's no way we're going to do enough damage to him. I don't think the etoliating poisons stunt his regen. That's annoying. I'm gonna have to come back with burning poisons, I guess, or burning oils. Do I have any burning oils? No. Why would this not stunt his regen, but burning wood? That's really stupid. You would think the one made for fighting undead would be good for using against undead. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just have to come back with burning oils. All right, I just had an idea. I don't know if this is going to work. On my way out, he followed me through here. So I wonder if... Well, my bear is clearly falling for it. But I wonder if I can get him to fall for it. I can fall for it too, apparently. Wow, look at that. I'm such a genius. Did that fill my Grand Soul Gem? Fuck yeah, it did. Uh, honestly, I might make the... The uh, Courier's Effigy. Oh, actually, I'll probably make the Chemist Effigy because that one uh, gives us the better potion crafting. Uh, let's see what we get for our Mysterious Chest. Zelda music plays now. Conjure Ash Guardian. Cool. Not going to use that. Okay, uh, I don't... Oh, god damn it. Oh, no. Could you imagine? That would have been our first death. Um... I don't know if we should do, uh... <laughs> I don't think, uh... I don't think Gathric regens. But this was a bit rough. Uh, I might do some preparation, maybe. And see about maybe fighting Gathric next. Because I would like to roll for a chance to get uh, his boots or his armor. Just so we can start getting more enchanted armor pieces. And just slowly but surely upgrade our gear. And then uh, we might start running some Falmer dungeons soon. I did make some poison resist potions, some constitution potions. 45%. I'm thinking maybe if we switch to Azura for a brief time just while we're fighting. Uh, while we're fighting uh, Falmer. Let's see, if I take the Chemist Effigy, that's another 15%. So we wouldn't quite get to 90% poison resist, but we'd get pretty close. Oh, you know what? We could with snacks, actually. We could definitely get there with snacks. Switch to Azura. 
uh, eat like the grilled chicken snack, um, we would definitely get over 90 poison resist. That's probably something I'm going to consider doing. Uh, we also have the frost resistance, which is nice. Um, yeah, so we might start doing some Falmer dungeons. Also just a, a good source of uh, greater insights, which we're going to start needing pretty soon. So we're just going to go ahead and go... I think we're one point away from getting the Adept Casting perk. Uh, getting the Adept Casting perk is going to be really nice. I, I think I'll probably wait till I get Adept Casting before I go fight uh, Gathric. But I, I would probably ideally like to fight Gathric next and then um, look at some Falmer dungeons. But yeah, so it's only going to get more dangerous from here on out. I'm kind of glad we didn't have to go make those burning oils after all. Kind of worked out. I was running through there and I and I saw the fire trap was going. And I was like, wait a second. I have an idea. <laughs> Coral Mill is dumb. So I'm going to go uh, loot the rest of this dungeon and uh, I'll see you guys next time. See you.